guys, Mike Fox here, and I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to root your Galaxy Note 3, the T-Mobile version. Um, I've been having trouble with rooting this device, so I'm gonna make this video to help anyone out that is not being able to do it properly. Okay, so all the files you're going to need will be in the description, and um, I have them right here. Which is CF Auto Root for the and the 900T. Please note that this is only for the T-Mobile version of the Note 3. This will not work in your N9005 and uh, the sorts. So I'm gonna make a new folder here and call it Root, I guess. Um, so here you want to extract the contents of this page right here of this uh, RAR file. So now you can close out of that. So what, we, what you're going to do next is um, open Odin as admin. And there we go. Uh, bear in mind that this is only on KitKat. Um, this route only works on KitKat, so please do not try it in other operating systems because, you know, things might go wrong. So what you're going to do here is um, select the PDA, file and select, go to the documents and root, wherever you put the, wherever you extracted the files to, you want to select the CF auto root file and leave it checking. It's already checked because it's a small file, I believe. So now what you're going to do is um, take your phone. Um, you want to hold it and um, turn it off, power off, and that shall turn it off. So after the phone is completely off and um, it vibrates, what you want to do is um, press the power button, volume down, and home button at the same time. This will take us to download mode, and now it will ask you, um, a custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone and installed applications. Do you want to continue, um, press volume up. And now it should take you to download mode. So now you want to take um, the USB cable. Yes, you need to plug in the USB cable into your computer. And uh, make sure you have Samsung's USB drivers. I don't know how much that will help, but I'll leave those in the description as well. And you want to install that just to make sure everything's fine. I'll have mine already installed. So after that, you want to plug in your phone. Um, there we go. See if it detects in the program. There we go. It's already showing up in the app in Windows. So now you want to make sure nothing is screwing up anything. So you don't want to mess with any of these options. And you want to click start. let it run and when it's done it should reset your phone there we go swing into recovery maybe it's best to just leave it there and do its own thing and then after that you I'll unplug your phone so rebooting in 10 seconds there we go. What do we have here? So now it may take a while to start up.
Okay, so for my case, I had to um, force it down the phone and restart it again. And so let me just put my SIM pin here. Um, so there you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to activate the Wi-Fi. I don't know why it's turned off. Um, hmm. so as you can see, it's a T-Mobile. Note 3, um, hmm. it's the Play Store, so now we're going to go in here, oh, but today, except lots of notifications here, so, Lots of things going on. Now we open this. I agree. Okay. Now we verify root. Grant. And there we go. Congratulations. Root access is probably insta properly installed on this device. So yeah, I may make a little video about how to install a custom ROM on this because. You know, I really want to, so I can test out the out camera, fucking API, whatever. So yeah, that's how you root the Note 3 from T-Mobile. And um, yep, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if it helped you. Again, all the links will be in the description. And uh, see you guys later.